All right. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. My name is TJ. For metabolic conditioning today, we are on the very last week. Uh, so week four, day two of phase seven. So we're going to start off doing pillar prep. And so just doing that 90-90 arm sweep. So we're gonna lie on the mat. And so we're going to take the hand overhead and around and then back and then back to the other hand that meets and then back around. Again, do what you can. Sometimes making those arm circles can be a little challenging. So we're aiming for eight. Hopefully you're able to do this without a dog licking your hand or a chair in the way. Keep going. Awesome job. So just warming up that shoulder. Give me one more. All right, so let's flip it over to the other side. So it's just one round. So again, two hands together and then, sorry. So kind of bring it back and around and back to the other hand. Again, do what you can. Just make sure you have adequate space to do that arm circle and not have anything in your way. Good job. So again, aiming for eight. Almost there. Give me one more. All right. Okay, so for the next one is we're going to do our bolt, boat hold. Um, so you're gonna lift the heels off the floor and you want your shoulder blades to be off the floor as well. And so it's for 15 seconds. All right, ready, go. So it's all about kind of keeping the shoulders off the ground, heels off the ground. Remember 15 seconds. Keeping the core tight. Three, two, one, down. Excellent job. All right, so let's stand. And so we're going to go, uh, sorry, knee hug to a single leg RDL. So I'll have to kind of turn to the side on this one. All right, so knee hug and then RDL. If the balance is a little challenging. You can actually just kind of take it to where the back foot is just barely touching the floor as you touch that toe, then bring that leg back up and then touch the floor and then back up and touch the floor. Just doing a few of these for one leg. And then we will do the other leg. Good job, keep it up. All right, so let's switch. So let's switch legs. So again, knee hug. And again, if the RDL is a challenge, you could let that back foot just barely touch the floor, just to keep the balance. So again, knee hug. Kind of touch the floor, single leg. And give me one more. Excellent. Good job, you guys. All right, so let's move into our movement prep. So this is for 20 seconds on and 15 seconds off. Just let you know. So we're gonna go plank to toe touch. So again, whether you're, well, hands and feet 
or on your elbows, totally up to you. But I want you to reach back and touch your toes or touch your knee, whichever one you feel is the easiest for you. Just challenge yourself. Ready? Go. Great job. So either touch the toe or touch the knee. Keeping the core engaged. Three, two, one. Excellent. Now onto the mat. Child's pose. Good job. All right, we're going to do this one one more time. Three, two, one. Again. So whether it's the knee or touching the toe, keeping the core tight. If it starts to become too tiring, you could just hold that plank. Three, two, one. Excellent. Child's pose. All right, when you were getting ready, I want you to stand up and we're going to do the leg cradle. So the leg cradle with the reverse lunge, all right? So picking it up, stepping back, picking it up, stepping it back. Go if you have it. Excellent. Three, two, one, all right, other leg, go. So ideally you could grab your foot for that leg cradle as you step back. Now I didn't say anything about weights in the very beginning if you would need anything. I feel like it's very cardiovascular in nature. Three, two, one, but if you did grab some light dumbbells or moderate dumbbells, I did grab mine. Not sure if I'll use them yet. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Leg cradle. Oh, step back. Don't lose your balance. Great job, everybody. Keep it up. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, switch legs. Last one. Ready? Go. Oop. Careful, don't lose your balance. Almost there. Three, two, one, excellent. All right, so this next one, just a little variation. So you're gonna go two leg, stand to the side, side lunge, come together, side lunge. So sitting back into it and just switching legs. So coming together. Working a little bit through the inside thigh. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right. So pillar skip. This one is a challenge for me. All right. So up and across as you move. If you feel like the moving across is hard, you can go high knees. All right, ready, go. Great job, keep it up. Keep moving. Three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna go back to, oh, the, all right. Looking at my board, getting slightly confused, but it's okay. All right, so we're gonna go back to the, the side lunge, the side lunge, ready, go. All 
It's always funny in my head when I have it laid out the way I want. And then all of a sudden my brain's like, not today. Keep moving. Three, two, one. All right, so either the pillars skip or you're moving across the mat or the floor or high knees. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So I'm just gonna do the high knee. I feel like it's more effective for me to do this versus the coordination of it. Three, two, one. Excellent, get a drink of water. Get a drink of water. All right, so for the next aspect, which is strength and power, we're gonna go four rounds. If you haven't caught on, it's a lot of leg stuff today, a little bit of chest. So we're gonna go RDL. So grab your dumbbells and then hinging from the hip. We're pushing the hip back, slight bend in the knee and keeping the shoulders back. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Great job, everyone. So just as a little change of pace into going to the next exercise, we'll just do all four of this one and then move on to the next. Three, two, one, shake it out. So remember, keeping that slight bend in the knee, just so you feel it through the back of the leg and not through the back of the knee or the low back. Get ready, three, two, one, go. So deadlift or RDL, working the hamstrings or the back of the leg. Keeping the core tight, keeping the shoulders back. Nice job, keep it up. Three, two, one, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. So we are halfway. So we've got three and four, and then we'll move on to the next one. Get ready? Three, two, one, again. Excellent job to so being aware of your body. Remember where you should be feeling it. Making every movement serve a purpose. Good job. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. So we have one more round of this one, and then we're gonna move on to the next. Get ready. Three, two, one, last time. Good job, keep going. So just to let you know, for the next exercise, we have lunges. There's lots of them. Three, two, one. All right. Okay, you can keep your dumbbells in hand. I'm just going to show you again for the sake of, of what we're doing. So either step back lunge, or if you want to make it interesting, you could actually go a jumping lunge. So it's Stretching the feet, 
remember that back knee doesn't hit the ground. All right. All right. Ready? You choose. Three, two, one, go. Remember alternating lunge or switching feet. Same with the jumping lunge. Both are for 25 seconds. And we're going to do all four. Not in a row, but obviously with a little break. So remember the back knee doesn't hit the floor. Three, two, one. All right, shake it out. And you can alternate if you want to. If you want to do the jumping lunge in between, you can totally do that. All right, three, two, one, go. So I'll alternate for the sake of variety. Again, keeping the core tight, finding that balance. Three, two, one. Excellent. Shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. I'm going to go back to the alternating dumbbell lunge where we step back. This is round three. Ready? Go. Again, try to keep your head up, looking forward, keep your body upright, so that way you stay upright, not falling over to the side. Three, two, one. All right, we have one more round of this one, and then we'll change it up. So remember, jumping lunge or the alternating lunge where you step back. Three, two, one, go. So ideally, when you're doing this, you just wanna make sure the front knee isn't going over the toe. If it starts to get hard, slow it down. Almost there. Three, two, one. Excellent. All right, so the next one is going to be our two arm push press. All right, so grabbing your dumbbells. And so it's a tiny little, a tiny little bend in the knee, push up, bring it down. Push up, bring it down, push up. So making that move in one motion. All right, get ready. Three, two, one, go. So round one. So again, tiny little bend in the knee. If you have lighter dumbbells, Use lighter dumbbells or no dumbbells at all. Three, two, one. Excellent. So shake it out, put it down. That rest is only about 15 seconds long. All right, number two, ready? Three, two, one. Go. So remember, a tiny bend in the knee, pushing that hip back. Your weights or your hands are where your shoulders are, and you push those hands up as you stand. Great job, everyone. Three. Two, one, excellent. Shake it out for a moment. So round number three for this one. Get ready. Three, two, 
он пел. I know about you, but I'm already sweating. Great job. Push. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Last one. It starts to become too tiring, especially with that whole bending of the knee. You can always just push straight up overhead. Three, two, one, last one, go. Keep going. If you get tired, slow it down or shake it out. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right. Put it down. Gonna get a drink of water really quick. All right. So for the next one, we have push ups. So, or sorry, push ups. Jumpy jacks. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. So seal jack or jumping jack, whichever one you choose. Push up is next, just let you know. After four rounds of seal jacks, keep going. Three, two, one. All right, pause for a moment. Catch your breath if you need to. Just be careful to make sure that your head does not fall below your heart so you don't get dizzy. All right, three, two, one. Seal jack, go. Or regular chubby jack. Great job. Keep it in. Three, two, one. Excellent. 15 seconds rest. So you've got three and four for the jumpy jack. Oh, leg day, you get me every time. All right, three, two, one. But we got this. Go. Three, two, one. Excellent. One more round. I hope you're doing well. Give yourself a big thumbs up. And I'll imagine that I'm seeing it. All right, one more. Last one. Three, two, one, go. Keep going. Try to control your breathing. You're getting tired. Three, two, one. All right. Now we're going to move it to the floor for the push out. Get a drink of water if you need one. Gonna situate my mat. All right. So either on your knees, shoulder, hip to knee, straight across. Elbows or, or sorry, hands are wider than shoulders. 
otherwise on your feet to make it harder. Three, two, one, go. Keep going. If you feel like on the knee, it's a little hard, elevate it, take it to a chair or a couch or a coffee table. Keep going. Remember we have four rounds and this is the end of round one. All right, child's pose. So sitting back, hands overhead. All right, we're gonna do it again. Three, two, one, round two, go. So remember to keep your core tight. Keep going. Keeping that body straight. Three, two, one. All right, child's pose. So sit back into it. Great job. So round number three, three, two, one, go. Nice job, push. Three, two, one, child's pose. So we have one more push up. Excellent. Three, two, one, go. I'll just do them on my knees. Arms are starting to get a little tired, but I got this. Three, two, one. Child's pose, one last time. Excellent. All right, so standing up slowly. All right, for the next one. Oh, okay. All right, <laughs> actually back down on the ground. Some mountain climbers, all right? Again, you could use the chair or the couch, but otherwise you are holding yourself in a plank position and you're stepping in a little more dynamic or a little faster is what we're doing. Three, Two, one, good job everyone, keep it going. So again, just like your push up, keeping the core engaged. Three, two, one, excellent. All right, okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Just being cautious not to let that hip kind of be straight up in the air. So keeping that body straight. Great job, keep going. Three. Two, one, child's pose. So round number three, get ready. Three, two, one, go. So try to keep your shoulders over your hands. Keeping that body as straight as you can. If you have to break for a moment, break. Otherwise, go. Almost there. Three, 
two, one, child's pose. So we have one more round of the mountain climber. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Keep it up, keep going. You have to pause, shake out your arms. Keep moving. Great job. Three, two, one. Child's pose again. Get a drink of water. I'm 100% certain on that this time. All right, so for the next one, which is a review of some of the things that we did earlier. So for our ESD, we're gonna do our, our jumping lunge or our alternating lunge. So we'll start with that, all right? Ready, so 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, go. If you're getting tired, as long as you keep moving and doing the alternating lunge, still looking for that challenge, then do the jumping lunge. Three, two, one. Excellent. So three rounds. Three rounds. Catch your breath. Don't get too, too rested. All right. Three. Two, one, back to the alternating lunge, your jumping lunge, go. Fantastic job. So be careful of your form. Back knee doesn't hit the floor. Front knee doesn't go over the toe. Three, two, one. All right. Pause for a moment. Last one for this one. And then we're moving into seal jacks. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Great job. Remember, good form. If you get tired, take a pause and then get back into it. Three, two, one. All right. Catch your breath for a moment. So the next one is that jumpy jack or the steel jack. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. So remember three rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Goes by quickly. Three, two, one. All right, pause for a moment. Try to catch your breath. So round number two coming up. Three, two, one, go. Nice job. Three, two, one. All right, pause. Touch your breath. Last one. Coming up. Again, remember to keep your head above your heart. Three, two, one. Last time, go. Nice job, keep it going. 
three, two, one. All right. Okay, so we're gonna move to mount climber. So three rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So remember to either step and touch or more dynamic. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Just be careful if you're doing mountain climbers, especially on a bare floor. Keep going, just so you don't slip when you're doing it, especially if you're wearing socks. Three, two, one, child's pose. So arms out in front, stretching out the low back. Three, two, one, again, go. Three, two, one, child's pose. One more round, everyone. And then we move into the stretches. Three, two, one, go. Keep going. Get tired, pause, and then get back to it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, child's pose. That was the end of the ESD. We'll get a drink of water and we'll do a little bit of stretching. All right, so let's take it to the floor. All right, so hands behind you and then have your chest up. So either you can move yourself forward or you can move your hands back. The idea is feeling it through the front of the shoulder into the chest. Excellent job. All right, let's turn it over. So we're gonna do that pigeon stretch. So having the front leg up and the back leg back behind you. If you feel like the best way for you is by kind of keeping yourself upright and your arms straight, just so you're not overdoing it. Otherwise you could put your foot up on a couch Make it a little easier. All right, other side. I'll turn around. So pigeon. And if you have the best flexibility or feel like you need to feel it a little more, you could lower yourself to the ground and it's feeling that stretch through your hip. Nice job. All right, so still, still on the ground and feet together and doing the butterfly. Now, if you want, use your elbows to push down on the lower part of your lower leg. And if you want, you can lean forward so you feel the stretch through the inner thigh. And one last and final one. Just gonna add it and stretching out the side. So kneeling and reaching overhead. My other hand is the balance for support and feeling the stretch through that oblique or through the side of the core. All right, other side. So left hand down, right hand overhead. All right, 
Good job, everyone. You have a fantastic Friday.